guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at that special spot where we make that magic happen. And what do we got? We have this 2023 Chevrolet Tahoe. This particular one is an RST. But before we get into this radiant red full-size SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Chevrolet, they've been doing the business since the early 1900s. Of course, Louis Chevrolet starting the brand. And you know what? The Tahoe nameplate has been part of that brand for so many decades. Now, in today's world, there's tons of SUVs you could go with. Some super big, some super small, but you know what? The Tahoe has always stayed true to its name, being that full-size SUV. Now, what's great is, is that there's a lot of different ways you could option your Tahoe. If you want something that's a little bit more on the sportier side of things, this RST might be the one to check off all the boxes. So let's go ahead, let's dive in to this 2023 Tahoe RST and find out, is it the best new SUV you should be buying or should you go maybe Expedition or possibly even the Jeep Wagoneer? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the shape. Even though with the redesign, it still has that classic layout of the Tahoe. Now, at the front of the business, they did a great job with how they redesigned the headlights. LED headlights, LED, that boomerang, turn signal and daytime running lamp, and then you have these ginormous functional corner air curtains that's gonna help clean up the air that hits the front of the vehicle and then sends it down the side. Even this lower portion, how they put some nice angular shape to it, looks really good. We come across the front and when you go RST, we're talking about blacked out on the grill. You have a couple horizontal slots and then of course you're gonna have those individual gloss black accents, blacked out bow tie, and then working our way down, you have this really simple but clean gloss black area. What would have been nice is to put some fog lamps in this fake vent area, so I am gonna zonk that, but other than that, definitely looks big, bold, and tough from the front end of this truck. Now, when we get up onto the hood, nice, clean crease to allow that hood to fold down towards the grill. You have a rise in the center, and then you have almost like a U-shape overall indentation, and a little bit of rise that happens to give it some real great depth of form with the function. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? So when you go RST, just like the blacked out grill design, you're also gonna get these gloss black wheels. I love the ginormous lug nut cover here. So it's gonna cover up the lug nuts, give it a nice clean look, gloss black, machined aluminum, all the way around. This is a 22 inch wheel, 275 on the width, 50 series sidewall, Remember, they reworked this whole suspension, the whole chassis, and this is the first Tahoe ever to have a fully independent rear suspension. But definitely showing that sportier side of things with the way you have that wheel tire combination. 275 on the width is a pretty beefy tire. I love the way everything is painted radiant red, no flat black around the fender openings whatsoever. When you come down the side, we have radiant red, color matched on the mirror caps. You got the Tahoe badge, looking great, all blacked out. And then you're gonna have these RST specific running boards that are obviously fixed. So good news is they're a nice size, even with somebody with a big shoe like myself, can get in and out. You have the gloss black roof rails up top, color match on the door handles, and then I'm digging that the way they blacked out everything around the side window openings. Now, as we work our way towards the rear, we have, of course, that four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive system to keep you planted. Love the size of the rear quarter window. Nice, hard body line coming into the rear taillight housing. And then as we kind of swing it all the way around the back, just like up front, it's got a nice aggressive look. Out back, same story. Love the roof spoiler. You got your cleared out third brake light. 
Look at this. What do we got? No rear wiper. It's tucked underneath. You see how when you have no rear wiper, how much cleaner it looks? And if you need the wiper, it just swings down. There you go. Out of the way. Really interesting how they do the taillight design. The one zonk I am going to have to give is I could see Thomas Edison sitting inside that light bulb right there for the turn signal. So that would have been nice to make that full LED, but we got full gloss black and the blacked out bow tie. That RST badge that is actually bigger than the clock that Flavor Flav used to wear around his neck. And then dropping it like it's hot, you got your sport stag staggered exhaust, nice finished tips. Love the way it's staggered. One push back, the other one comes out a little further. And then of course we have our cover here because you can tow with this vehicle. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk numbers with the V8. All right guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hood struts. Now when you look at the Ford Expedition, even when you look at a new Jeep Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer, you're looking at turbocharged sixes. Remember the new Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer has that hurricane engine. This Chevrolet is doing it old school in a very good way. You got your good old push rod V8. Now, not the sexiest engine area. You got this large box here that's part of the intake system, but it is obviously what is connected to your right foot that really matters. And what do we got? We have that 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8 pumping out 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to a 10-speed automatic transmission. You got a mechanical limited slip diff, zero to 60 in 5.8 seconds. Quarter mile is gonna zoom by at 14.2 seconds. It weighs 5,661 pounds, MPGs 14 in the city, 18 on the highway, and you could tow 7,700 pounds with this vehicle. So those who still crave the mighty V8 roar, this has got it. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's fire it up and let it roar. All right, guys, we're inside this 2023 Chevrolet Tahoe RST. I know you're saying to yourself, Joe, I want a big SUV. I'm not messing around. I'm not playing this game where I'm going to go compact or midsize. Like, I'm gonna, if I'm going to drive an SUV, I'm going big. Now, I don't want as big as a Suburban. That's a little too big. But I'm liking this Tahoe, especially the RST and the sport package that it has. How much is it? Very good question. MSRP for the way this one is optioned with the sport package, which gives you the exhaust, and it also gives you that magnetic ride suspension. You're looking at $73,000. Let's see how it stacks up to the competition, to the door panels. Now, I like the way the RST brings that sporty feel to the interior. Up top, you got beautiful soft touch material. Love the red stitching. Even the way they did the trim. Don't have to do faux carbon fiber, everybody. You could do something a little different, and I like what they have done on the interior. All flat black around the switch gear. Of course, you got your Twinkie tray in the center that is officially Chevrolet approved. Four Twinkies, easily fit in there. And then that door pocket, you could go to Subway, splurge, get yourself the 12 inch meatball sub, extra parm, extra marinara sauce. You deserve it. And of course, a large Coca-Cola to wash it down. We got the Bose sound system. And then going from the door panel to the dash, of course, we have more of that great material. I like the way they brought everything up to a new level. With the red stitching, there's more of that great trim and even more red stitching. On top of that, you do have a little secret door that you open up. And this is where easily you could put, I would say, six ring pops. So definitely, Put them in here if they're new because there's felt lining you don't want to like eat the you know suck on the ring pop and then put it back in here that's going to be gross but at least six ring pops 
close it up. You got the new infotainment system, larger than ever before, the Google Maps. I love the way it's got real clean, intuitive design to it. So you could do your trailer light test. It's got all the information you want when you're trailering so that you could stay safe. Cameras, GM does one heck of a job. Look at the resolution on that. It's like you're, it's like you're actually at the back of the vehicle just staring at out the back. That's how clear the resolution is. You got trajectory, of course. The one thing that this is missing is a forward-facing camera. So I am gonna zonk that, but like I said, you get to your climate controls, all touchscreen capability, nice clean graphics. Let me throw it into reverse. There's the backup. It'd be kind of fun right now to floor it with Steven hanging out of the uh, Tahoe, but I won't do that because I need, I want Steven, Steven to live another day. And then you're right back to where you're, you started from. Nice home, easy to do. Don't need Google Assistant right now. My Chevrolet, more of that stitch work. Love the trim. Of course, you're gonna have full radio controls, dual climate control, which is nice. And you have heated seats, no ventilated seats. So that is another Zonk at $73,000. But I like the way you could switch from rear AC, adjust that very easily. You got USB-C, USB-A, and a 12 volt. I'll get my hand out of the way. Wireless charging. Two cup holders on the side. If you're needing more potassium, you could put a couple bananas. Either that or one head of broccoli. Because guess what? Broccoli has just as much potassium as bananas. Kind of weird to just gnaw on a head of broccoli. But hey, to each their own. Two cup holders. Here is your Louis Chevrolet key fob with the bow tie. Flip it around. You got your remote start. You could blast your red horn if somebody's attacking you. More of that great soft stitching. And the material with the red, you got a place to put your phone that's gonna grip nicely. Open this up and I'm telling you, this is like a, a party in a car. USB-C, USB-A, you got your planner's party tray. You could put the honey roasted, some macadamia, some pistachios, and then you have enough room for a basketball. So if you have that basketball that was signed by Michael Jordan when you were a kid, you could keep your basketball in here. Nobody's gonna touch your balls if you keep that basketball in there. So nice and large. And then the seats, the leather, the stitching, all the way through, nice material. You do have electric assist for the passenger. Of course, if we have electric assist for the passenger, we're gonna have electric assist for the driver. And then we have that massive panoramic sunroof. Really nice touch, goes all the way back. And I like the fact that it's just one touch operation. That makes it a lot easier. But why don't you get your butt over here? I wanna show you behind a digital gauge cluster in this Tahoe. Come on. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You do get two memory seat settings, which is nice. I do like the very simplistic Chevrolet sill plate, super clean. You got your seat controls that are easy to get to, especially that lower lumbar. I'm six feet tall, and I'm telling you right now, I'm swimming in space in here. I could grow another foot and still have plenty of room. You got your nice leather wrap steering wheel. I love the way Chevrolet was very consistent with all their red stitching even the blacked out bow tie, manual tilting, telescoping steering wheel. And then it's easy to get to the uh, all wheel drive controls. You got your four high, two high, hill descent control. Obviously this is for your headlights. And then that dash, nice large digital gauge cluster. What's really cool is that you can actually change the design of it very, very easily. So watch this, display layout. Right now we're in classic. Let's say you wanna be progressive. Bam, it changes. I love the way they do that. How about digital? What does digital look like? Na, 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 na. There you go. And what about clean? You just wanna, just wanna keep it clean. Look at that. Nice to have that kind of flexibility in your setup. I prefer classic, because I'm just an old school kind of guy. But uh, it's got all your readouts that let you know what the four by four system is doing your voltmeter, the whole nine yards, but super clean graphics. I think the other thing that's missing is a head-up display in this RST, so I am gonna zonk that, but other than that, everything is well laid out, getting to the controls for the 10-speed automatic. Why don't we go ahead and get into the mid-row, because there's some surprises back there I wanna show you in the Tahoe RST. All right, guys, mid-row time in the Tahoe RST. This one is gonna have a nice option that I highly recommend. 
especially when you have kids. We have the rear seat entertainment. So you have these large over 12 inch monitors nicely placed behind the front seats, full touchscreen capability. Obviously the app's already preloaded. You could go to your Hulu account. You could watch Chef Ramsay in Hell's Kitchen and have a good time or of course watch Rady's Rides on YouTube. That was like an uh, unselfish plug. And then of course, uh, YouTube for kids. But it's nice because you have all the controls here, but you also have the controls up front as well, including the Chevrolet branded official wireless headset. So you put these on and then you could easily watch whatever you want because of course you have that Wi-Fi hotspot capability. Here we are going to YouTube, easy peasy. And I like the way it's got these really tough very durable tilting action to the uh, to the hinge there. But then we have, of course, besides the pockets, which you could put, of course, things like Good and Plenty, maybe some, uh, I don't know, Hot Tamales, Mike and Ike's, all your movie favorites while you watch the movies in the back seat. You do have your AC controls to keep things in check for you, USB-Cs, your HDMIs, another USB-C, we got a home Power source down below. You got your two cup holders. I got my own pocket here, my own screen. AC vents nicely placed in that ceiling area. And then of course you pull this bad boy down. Just enough room for an arm. You have your, don't put a Twinkie in there cause it's gonna get, you're gonna bust cream all over this beautiful interior. I'd put like maybe a, a Kit Kat, maybe a Nestle Crunch. Not my favorite candy bars, but you could, Stand that up in there, two cup holders. And then if you're wondering, yes, the seats, they do slide and they really recline very nicely. But you know what? We still got one more row to go. Let's get into the third row and see how good it is in this Tahoe. All right guys, third row time. And this is where once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away, it used to be the kid that you hated the most maybe not in your own family, but maybe one of your kid's friends, that one kid that just annoys the heck out of you, you used to put him back here to punish him because it was so miserable. Well, guess what? In this Tahoe with the independent rear suspension, which is new, lowers your legs, lowers your knees. I'm six feet tall, like I said, not even close to the headliner. I got my own AC vents, USB-C. The only thing that I'm gonna zonk is that I wish there was some soft material for me to put my arms on, but I'm very happy that they gave us the same seat material that they did in the mid row and the front row. Sometimes the certain vehicles, the brands, they go cheap on the third row and they basically take some uh, vinyl and wrap it around two pieces of ply plywood for you to sit back here. But this is actually pretty nicely done, but we're not finished yet. Let's go ahead, let's open up that cargo hatch and see how much room we have in this Tahoe RST. All right guys, time to get in that real cargo area. You're gonna hit the button on the lower portion. Nice electric assist. I left the third row up because I wanted to show you just how much room there is. Now, when you're comparing this to the Expedition or the Wagoneer, you got 25 cubic feet of space. What's great about that is that you're not gonna have to really think about, do I have the third row up? Do I have it down? Because you're gonna be able to put a lot of stuff here. The one thing I wanna point out is, remember, this has the magnetic ride suspension, which is gonna give you perfect suspension tuning while you're driving. But the problem is, is that that rear bumper is up quite a bit. So just be aware that you do have a home power source right there. That's gonna be perfect for when you're camping or you're going to the beach and those kids want that 10 person raft inflated. You could sa save your lungs and use a nice electric air compressor that allows you to live to see another day. Now, if you need more room, it's very easy. You're just gonna lift up on the handle and you're gonna allow it to fold down. That's gonna give you, by doing this, it's gonna give you almost 73 cubic feet of space. I love the way the floor is totally flat. And then I'm also gonna have Steven show off when we were sitting in the back area, there's the USB-Cs for your third row passengers. So just something to point out. Now, you can put down the mid row. That's gonna give you over 100 and 22 cubic feet of space. This is the type of vehicle that if you get kicked out of the house, get yourself an inflatable air mattress and that air compressor, 
You can inflate it and sleep in this vehicle as your mobile apartment until you're allowed to come back into the house. Now, the one big zonk I have is to bring the rear seats back up. They actually have the poles, these cloth poles down here. They're a little low. I wish they would have put them up here because you really got to jump in and then use some force to get it back in the seat area position. Another thing that I do like is you do have some cargo area here. So if you are that ultimate cool soccer mom, what you could do is, is actually bring 28 Twinkies. That's about the size of an average kid soccer team. 28 Twinkies, when they win the game, let them celebrate with a Twinkie. That's how all the champs do it. But why don't we go ahead, hit that button. I'm gonna hit it again. Up, oh, there it goes, coming down. Make sure it doesn't hit me in my head like it usually does. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go for a little V8 on throttle spin in this Tahoe. All right, guys, we're in this 2023 Chevrolet Tahoe RST with the Sport package. Right away, if you have not been in a Tahoe, and one of the reasons why is that you've been afraid because of the overall size of it, you shouldn't be. This vehicle actually drives very small. It gives you great visual reference points out the front. Of course, you got all the great safety technology, blind spot monitoring, lane keep assist, all that good stuff. And then driving down the road, it's super smooth. The independent rear suspension does a great job with overall chassis dynamics. I love the digital gauge display. And of course, getting to that infotainment system as well within reach. Kind of interesting how they decided to do the transmission selector switch area where it's a push-pull system. But other than that, I think one of my favorite things is that there's only one dead button in this whole center stack, and this is the one in the center. I think that used to be an ejector seat for back in the day when that was legal, when that stuff was kind of legal. But now, driving down the road, really everywhere you touch, nice soft touch material. It's like this is how the Tahoe should have been since the get-go. But you know what? It's better late than never. Having that 6.2 liter V8, yes, is not getting you the highest return on your fuel economy, but you do have that V8 power. And if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. On the brakes. I tell you, it actually handles really well for the type of vehicle that it is. I love the sound of that V8, especially coming out of that exhaust that we have. And then of course, the magnetic ride suspension. There's nothing that can't be said enough about that suspension. Remember, General Motors, the first to develop that technology. Now you find it on so many different makes and models of vehicles. It just shows where GM puts that special engineering financial backing to really develop these types of things that eventually uh, get accepted by the whole industry. But going down the road, easy to keep within your lane. And then your visual reference points. I mean, side mirrors are a great size. Looking out the back glass is awesome. You got your panoramic sunroof. There's just a few odds and ends that I'm missing, like I had said earlier, some type of head-up display. And I would like to see ventilated seats, especially in Florida. You got to have the ventilated seats. Hey guys, putting them, pulling away from the light, easy to change modes. I'm going into sport mode. Remember, you have that off-road mode and trailer mode. So it's nice to have the different selectability and how the transmission and the engine are going to behave with one another and also throttle sensitivity and steering. But what we're gonna do is we're actually going to uh, slow down. Nobody's really behind us. And then we're gonna go on throttle. So if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. That instant torque, that grunt of that V8. Nice shifts from the 10-speed automatic 
on the brakes. Here we go. <laughs> A Tahoe should not drive like this. I'm telling you, that 10 speed fires off the shifts very, very quick, very smooth. And like I said, no death gripping the steering wheel. Inputs are nice and light because everything is tuned super well for this particular vehicle. All right, guys, what I want to do is I want to get it out on the highway, show you how this Tahoe cruises down the road. Very, very smooth. The seats are supportive without being squishy. And I just love the way they did the color contrast, not only with the outside, but also the inside as well. Stitching everywhere, high-end materials everywhere, really elevates the overall feel of this vehicle. But I'm telling you, driving it in traffic is a snap. You got the rear seat entertainment for the kids so they're not making you pull your hair out of your head. And what I also like is that with the rear seat entertainment, they could send you, like say if they're, they wanna go to DQ and get a blizzard, they could actually send you that information through the infotainment system. And you could block them or accept it, which is great too, because you don't want them to keep sending it to you. I wanna go to DQ, I wanted to go to DQ. You could be like, no, we're not going to DQ and, and just block it. But as you can see, going down the highway here, very smooth. I do have it in sport mode. We're turning about 1,200 RPM. I'll go ahead and switch it over to normal. And then that's gonna drop it down just a tad further. So really shows that flexibility, like I said, between the different modes. Graphics are easy to read. And also you could change, like I showed you, you could change the setup of the dash. But hopefully this has been a nice overall review of the Tahoe RST. We're gonna get back and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split right, second. Guys, it's been a masterful day with this 2023 Tahoe RST. I gotta thank Cody and the rest of the team over at Chevrolet for allowing us access to this press fleet vehicle. Let me know what you think. Has Chevrolet kept that secret sauce, that special sauce in the Tahoe over the years? Does it still exist in this new Tahoe? Is this the best new full-size SUV you should be buying? Let me know in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We gotta give it up to Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. He doesn't have his Type R today, but that doesn't make him any lesser of a great photographer and videographer. So show him some love in, his, in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.